Uh, Dr. Sung Chan Ram and my good brother Vince Bontu <clears throat> uh, share their hearts with us and help us in this ongoing conversation of what does it mean to be fully human in the context of all the ways that God made us culturally, gender, ethnically, racially, etc. So that we truly become that beloved community that Dr. Martin Luther King talked to us about from that vision that he put in front of us. Among the Lakota people, again, we'd say, Mitakoye, Oyans Eve, all of my relatives. We think about where I'm here today because there are three generations that have gone before me that helped make me the person that I am. So that those three generations has, have informed my thinking. They've shaped me who I am. So I'm, I'm living in my generation as a result of where I come from who my family is, where they came from. And I tell people who my mother is. She's a Sichanghu she, Lakota, who my father is. He's an Oglala Lakota. One's from the Pine Ridge Reservation. One is from the Rosebud Reservation. Because when I tell you who I am, I have to tell you who my parents are. I have to tell you who my people are. Because if you don't know my people, then you don't know me. And if I don't know my people, I can't know me. So I'm connected to the three generations that have gone before me, but I live my life in this world for the three generations who will come after me. So the decisions that I make affect not just me and my wife and my children and now my grandchildren, but also my great-grandchildren who aren't even born yet. So I'm thinking about those three generations who come after me. What do I need to be thinking about as I decide make decisions economically, politically, about the environment, about theology, about God, about mission, about discipleship. As I make decisions today which moves me in a certain direction, I have to keep in mind how is this going to affect my children and my grandchildren. So now I live always aware of a seven-generation continuum. I am never an isolated individual living apart from my past. My past is alive, it's with me all the time. My past never goes away. My future is unknown. I don't know what's coming next. I only know what's already happened. So I embrace my history, I embrace my past, I embrace my stories, because it's those stories who help shape who I am today to make me a better person for those who come after me. So I open with this song. <clears throat> And what the words to this song say is that I'm walking with the one who made me. I'm walking with my creator. The second part says I'm walking with the one who saves me, Jesus. And the third part says I'm walking on this chonk-u. And chonk-u means road or path or trail. And sometimes in the Lakota we call Jesus chonk-u. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So to walk in the way has nothing to do with a building, has nothing to do with an activity that happens on a certain day of the week. To be a follower of Jesus has to do with the way that we live in this world in relationship to the three generations who've gone before us, the generation we walk among today, and the three generations who will come after us. So I want you to meditate on that as we begin this morning, that you're connected to a cycle of seven generations, and to follow Jesus is to walk in this way, the beauty way. Wakatanka et kia ma wani hiru hei
hope, all my relatives.